Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create the Reddit app icon in Adobe Illustrator. So this is a continuation of a previous tutorial where we learned how to create the Reddit logo and we're now going to take this logo and transform it into an app icon. So I've got the logo here. If you haven't done this tutorial, I definitely recommend it and I will link it down below in the description. Okay, so this is where we left off at the end of the last tutorial. And what we're going to do is select the Reddit logo, go to object and ungroup a few times just to make sure that everything is separate. And we can select everything by dragging over it and go to object, expand and leave fill and stroke selected. So these strokes are now no longer editable and we can zoom in. If we go into outline mode, that's command or control Y. Sometimes when expanding strokes, you get these double stroke effects with this line down the middle. If you do get that, it's always a good idea to select this with the direct selection tool and just delete that. The reason being that it can cause some problems later on when you come to group shapes together. It doesn't always happen, but it does usually when you're expanding lots of shapes with strokes or a mixture of shapes with strokes and fills. So just look out for that one. Okay, so outline mode to go in and out is command or control Y. So we'll come back out. And we're just going to drag over the main ellipse and then hold shift and select the ears. And in the Pathfinder panel, if we select Unite, it will merge those together. And with the Direct Selection tool, we're just going to drag over these inner parts of the ear and hit Delete or Backspace. So we're just dragging over these anchor points, making sure that we're getting rid of them. In fact, what we're going to do is actually if we click inside the ear with the direct selection tool, we can then delete all of these altogether. So if we just click on any of these anchor points inside the ear and hit delete or backspace a couple of times, it will remove that. In fact, we can actually do this for the main shape as well. So again, delete or backspace, select one of these anchor points, delete or backspace. So we're effectively deleting the insides of those shapes. In fact, let's just change this to a different color for now, just to see how it looks. Okay, so this is what we're looking for, and we're also going to make this one the same color at the top here. I'm just making it pink temporarily while I kind of figure out how to combine all the shapes together. So usually it's a case of expanding your strokes or your outlines and then using the direct selection tool to select various bits and just tidy them up. I'm going to zoom in at the top here and just move this over a little bit just so we don't have that square edge sticking out. And we also, we want to knock these out of the shape. So the eyes and the mouth should be knocked out, effectively transparent so you can see through them when they're on the face. So we'll make these a different color for now. Let's just go with black and with the eyes and the mouth selected, remember you can select these by left clicking and holding shift to select multiple objects and in the Pathfinder panel, select Unite. Next, we're going to go to Object down to Compound Path and select Make. So even though the two eyes and the mouth don't actually touch, they're still recognized and will be treated by Illustrator as one shape. So if I drag these around, that's all one shape. We have the face and the ears as one shape. Now we just need to merge the antenna with the face. Although before we do that, select the direct selection tool. And again, just select on this inner ring on the antenna. Just select one of those anchor points and hit delete or backspace a couple of times to remove that inner bit and just leave it as a solid fill. So now we can drag over the antenna and the main face and go to the Pathfinder panel and select Unite. And then again, Object, Compound Path and Make. And if we press Command or Control Y to go into Outline Mode, 
we can see that we don't have any other anchor points or bits of shape left over. So it's a nice and clean. And lastly, we can left click on the pink area, hold shift and select the eyes and the mouth to so the black shapes. And in the Pathfinder panel, select minus front. Now we've got a white background for our artboard. So the way we can test if we've done this correctly is just add another color in. So we'll go with black, go to object, arrange and center back. And there we go, we know it's worked. We can see the black color underneath through the eyes. So they have been successfully knocked out. So we have our logo, let's just move that off to one side. We can even make that the correct color. So from the color picker, I'm going to enter the hex value FF4500, which is the color, the correct color of the Reddit logo. I think in the last tutorial, I just kind of guessed a similar color. And what we can do now is we can leave a copy of that there, select the rectangle tool, left click and hold shift to draw a square. And if you're using Illustrator CC or newer, you can select these little circles just in from the edge and drag them towards the center to round off the corners. And then we'll bring our new Reddit logo or Reddit icon onto the artboard and we'll give this the fill color white. Make sure we bring this to the front by going to Object, Arrange and Bring to Front and we can scale it down holding Shift. And then we can scale it up holding shift. Just make sure we get the size correct. Drag over everything. And from this icon at the top, the align to icon, make sure it's set to align to artboard and then align it horizontally and vertically within the center. And you can adjust the scale of your Reddit logo once you've centered everything by holding alt and shift and dragging from the corner and it will scale up and down towards the center. And if you like, you can manually adjust the position as well. So I'm going to move that ev up ever so slightly just because the main body of the logo is an ellipse and I want this to be closer towards the center. So it's a little bit more balanced. And there we go. That's how to create the Reddit app icon in Adobe Illustrator. As always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time. I'm now going to go home and, and go to sleep because I'm really tired. <laughs> Have a good weekend.